I'm getting ready to uh, smoke in the smoker uh, two pork shoulders this morning. I'm just touching up my knife just a little bit. Here's my shoulders, and all that I'm going to do, there's just two of them. I'm going to put them in a the smoker over there in a minute, and I will show you what I'm going to do. Uh, this cooking, this campfire cooking that I'm putting together, it's all simple, simple ingredients, because most of the time when I do this stuff, I am at camp, and that's why I'm putting this series together on campfire cooking. I have no refrigeration here at the camp, so one of the ways that I preserve food while I'm here is I smoke it in my smoker, and I have just basic seasonings that you would have in any pantry. There is nothing special about any of the seasonings that you are going to see here today, and that's what I want in this series. I want a cooking show, or I want whatever you want to call it, you call it whatever you want. I want a cooking series that's about basic ingredients that everyone has on the shelf, and especially at camp and bush camp. Uh, none of these are specially trucked in. It's just stuff that is always, always, always on my, on my pantry shelf here at the cabin. So I am going to get started. I'm going to start out with... Uh, pork seasoning. You can get this at any grocery store or I happen to get this in this country. It's called Sam's Club and uh, this is what I start out with for my base. I'm going to put a quarter of a cup, maybe a strong, I don't measure hardly anything, but I'm going to start out with a good strong quarter of a cup of, of that pork seasoning. And then I'm going to add in about a good strong tablespoon of minced garlic. Now if I was at a grocery store, I would uh, purchase some fresh garlic, but on hand here at the cabin, uh, I always keep dry ingredients because there is no refrigeration up here, and I want these spices here when I get here. I'm here for 10 days. I will not be going to town while I'm here, so. Again, good strong tablespoon of, of garlic. And because I like this so much, this is Old Bay seasoning. I like this in everything, uh, so I, I kind of add it to everything. About a, about a tablespoon of this will do you. And then I have another spice up here that I really like. This is uh, Tony's, the same deal is kind of like this. You can put it on just about anything. Uh, Tony's, I put on, like I said, I put it in stews. I put it in all kinds of stuff. Same deal here. It's just a good starter for getting some, getting some flavor into your meals. So these are all just basic ingredients that you can get at any grocery store. Uh, and that's how I start out for my rub. And it's always here. Give her a good stir, and it is ready to rub onto whatever you want to put it on. It doesn't have to be smoked shoulders. It could be anything. It could be pork chops. It could be anything pork, as far as what I use this uh, pork rub for. And the, the other seasonings, like I say, they're just always here. So now I'm going to get on to the next step, which is uh, rubbing it onto the pork shoulders. And then from there, we will put it into the smoker. And then later on, I'm going to put them over the open campfire. And I'm going to finish them off in the campfire with a barbecue sauce that I've put together. 
and it's easy to do. It just puts a little different twist on the on the sauces so that your barbecue doesn't taste, your, your meat doesn't taste like everybody else's. Uh, I like to have things a little bit different. If you want to go to a cookout and everybody's meat tastes the same, uh, that's not what I like to do. So the only thing I do here is I just rub this stuff on. When I'm finished, I will sprinkle some more pork stuff on it just to make sure it gets a good, a good amount. Probably should have made it. That was about a batch for one. I guess I should have did a batch for two. <laughs> but I just want basic um, campfire cooking. Uh, because this is what I do here at the cabin. I'm up here for 10 days right now. And what I will do with this meat, I will cook it, smoke it, uh, get it done. And, and as you can see, this is a lot of meat for one person. But this way here, I don't have to cook for at least another four days, give or take. I will get this done up. And then I will get this in my cooler. And I can make uh, pulled pork sandwiches. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. As well as, as today, I get to hang out by the campfire and hang out with a smoker, which is uh, something that I really, really enjoy doing. So as you can see, it's just a basic rub. Got a little grass in it. <laughs> that happens when you cook outdoors, I guess. The smoker's been going. I took a video of it earlier. The smoker has been going for uh, a couple of hours now, just building up a good bed of coals in there, as well as getting my smokehouse uh, nice and seasoned. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle on some of this pork seasoning. And the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't quite get enough in my uh, my rub that I made. I should have made a double batch. But you do this, and then you do this in the you put this in your smoker for it'll smoke for about I'll have, I'll have it in there until three o'clock. So, I mean, yeah, three o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> That, I'll have it in there for three hours in the smoker. Then I'm going to move it from that smoker over, like I said, to my fire pit. And I will have it in the fire pit for probably at least another two hours after that. So I'm going to shut you off. And we're going to get my hands cleaned up. And then I'm going to move over to the smoker. Smoker's going. Got a little bit of alder in there with my hardwood. As you can see, I got the two pieces of meat in there. This is a three level smoker, so I could have another tray here, here, and here. Today I've got it up high to get it away from the smokestack just a little bit. I have a piece of steel down in there that the heat comes up and smoke comes up and hits and gets dispersed all the way around the box. Uh, that's how this box works. And then it is hooked up to a wood stove over here. I hope you can see that. Uh, so now I'm just going to close it. The meat will stay in there for about three hours and smoke up. I have it seasoned with that hand rub that you see I did. So I will shut you off and bring you back every once in a while to just have a sneak peek at what we got going on for supper. I'm getting ready to put together my barbecue sauce that's going to go on my uh, pork dinner today, so I will start out with I, I Start out with I hope the Sun's not going to be an issue here. Uh, I start out with a base of s Sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. I like to change up the recipe from here a little bit so that my cookout or what I'm cooking tastes different than uh, any other cookout that you would go to uh, in this country, it seems like everybody uses Sweet Baby Ray's. So if you go to a different cookout, uh, I like mine to taste just a little bit different. So what I do is I start out with, 
is a, uh, I'm just making a small batch, but normally I would make a half a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's, a half a cup of brown sugar, doesn't matter, dark or light, but I, a half a cup of brown sugar, and let's see, this is uh, pork seasoning. I usually, if it, a half a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a quarter of a cup uh, uh, of this. Maybe a little bit less. You might want it just a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. Uh, kind of play with that yourself. But that's how I start out with my, my base. So we're going to put in... I'm putting in enough that I can, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to paint it on my uh, smoke shoulders over on, on the campfire. So, breaking into a brand new bag. That means my quart jar in there is empty. This will, when you get this cooked on there, It'll be just like eating candy. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, I didn't bring a spoon out. It, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna say an eighth of a, an eighth of a cup. So I'm gonna shut you off for a minute, I've got to get a spoon. A spoon or a stick. <laughs> I guess we'll go with a stick today, since it's right here anyways. As you'll see, this is going to dry up, and you kind of want it that way, because you're going to, when this goes on there, it's going to stick. You'll see, we're going to bake that, we're going to bake that off over the uh, fire pit over there. What well, You'll see in a minute, I've got a... Uh, uh, a top of a gas grill that I salvaged and what I do is I put the meat on a rack and then I take the cover off that gas grill yeah hey, that's good I take the cover off that gas grill put my meat in there and then put that cover on top and it and it kind of will will keep all the heat and all the smoke right in there around the meat and then on top of my bed of coals, I will drop in a stick of green alder with the bark peeled off. And that will create even more smoke over there. So we'll be driving the smoke in this meat between the smoker and my campfire. We'll be driving the smoke in there for about five to six hours today. There. So that is my sauce, my barbecue sauce. Like I said, I docked it up uh, Sweet Baby Ray's a little bit, but that's my campfire sauce that I uh, put on. And because I'm here today eating by myself, if I was cooking this for other people, uh, I, this is where I would stop. But because I'm eating by myself here, uh, I like uh, hot sauce. This is Red Hot's. And uh, so I will put in at least, oh, we'll see, <laughs> some good healthy, good healthy amount. And then you can do that to taste if you like. I will probably be adding to that as we go. But that will give it a nice little kick. Yep, very nice. There is mosquitoes absolutely everywhere. You probably see them flying by. I've been spraying the death out of myself all day long. There. Now later on today, once that meat comes out of that smoker, and it's over there smoking up a storm, uh, we'll paint that on. Excellent.
This right here is the pork shoulders after they came out of the smoker. As you can see, uh, nice and juicy. Uh, the juice is still running out of them nicely. They were in the smoker for five hours. And now I'm getting ready to set them on the campfire. All right, they come out of the smoker. So I've got to give them a try. Just a little bit. Just because even this way, you don't have to put them on the fire and, and barbecue them. Uh, even this way, this stuff is absolutely uh, gorgeous. It's got a nice smoke flavor to it. Got a nice smoke flavor to it. Oh my goodness, is that good. It smells great. It tastes great. It is full, full of juices. It has not dried out a bit. I've still got to put on the barbecue sauce over in the fire pit. Uh, but Oh my goodness, is that good. This is a lot like deer hunting too, I guess. It takes patience. <laughs> because the patience comes into now, I gotta go put it on the fire pit without eating it all. But that will, that'll bake that barbecue sauce on over there in the fire pit. And you will not believe how good it looks and how tasty it will be. we're going to do, we're going to bake that now. It takes very few coals to bake this. You want it about 350 degrees in there. So what that means is, I, I, I've played with this stuff enough so I have a good idea. You want to be able to hold your hand without this cover right about six inches above that meat. And if you can do that, then you're perfect. I would have checked that ahead of time if I was a beginner at this, but I have played with this stuff for most of my life. I like to uh, cook at camp. To me it makes for a lot better trip because I love to eat good food while you're here and uh, this is just one of the steps. The side dish is going to go with that pork tonight is going to be uh, beans. I will have beans and uh, smoked uh, pork shoulder. Now remember, this is, we're at uh, camp, so, and keeping things simple. Now I know how to make New England style baked beans, and I make them a lot. But usually not during the week uh, while I'm hunting or fishing, so I've come up with another recipe for them times when we just want to have uh, something quick to go with what we've already made, like this smoked pork. And what that is for me, is I take a can of, of, of regular beans and then I doctor them up with molasses and brown sugar. Uh, light, dark, it really doesn't matter. But uh, I've been making beans for years and years and years. 
And as far as a doctored up bean that tastes like New England style beans that I like, uh, on the go and on the run, almost like a fast food, this is it. When I come home, and we put an onion in. When I come home from uh, hunting, it, I can put this together in about 15 minutes on the stove, and then I am eating supper. Uh, so after hunting and stuff like that, that's why I've come up with uh, little recipes like this. So now I'll go through uh, how I make uh, this this bean. You start out, I got a mosquito in there. Mosquitoes have been out terrible today. You start, you drain off this water so it really doesn't matter. I, I, right now I put, that's a quart mason jar, I put a little bit more than a pint in there. And the next thing you do is you get this onion in there. Now you can do anything at this point. You can put salt pork in there. Uh, no, I wouldn't put salt pork because that, that goes in my regular beans. But well, you, you could because you're going to bring this to a boil over on the fire or on a stove in the cabin. And But you could put bear meat in here, deer meat in here, uh, hot dogs, anything you want. But for tonight, I'm putting just onions in there because I have plenty of uh, I have plenty of meat over there on the grill already cooking. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get that water going over there so that them onions can cook off. And then after water is boiling, we're going to drain off a little bit of it. I like my beans a little bit runny, so you actually end up eating them with a bowl. I'll drain off probably more than, probably three quarters of that water will get drained off. And probably only leaving about anywhere from a quarter of a cup to a half a cup in the bottom because depending on how runny you want them because there is some juice in here I like kidney beans so that's what I use but then then we'll add the other ingredients after this comes to a boil I just got to drain out most of the water. I like them runny, but I don't like them like soup. Like I said, I'm going to leave probably, oh, I don't know, maybe I can't imagine that's more than a quarter of a cup of water left in there. Now what I'm going to do is add the beans. And just plain old molasses. I like molasses, so I put in I put in quite a bit, probably somewhere in the area. Oh, strong quarter of a cup. And I might add some if I don't like the color. I like my beans to be a little bit darker. And the same thing here on the brown sugar. You don't want to put too much in here. Maybe a, a good strong. Uh, uh, tablespoon because if you put too much brown sugar in at this point it gets really really sweet you can always add a little bit more brown sugar if you like uh, when this is done but this is an excellent supper when you come back from uh, hunting all day or back from the boat it's just a, a fast uh, fast way to eat a decent meal you look in there. Tell me that doesn't look good. That's got lots of onions in it. It's got my beans in it. And now the only thing we do now is just put it back on the heat. And you're just going to bring it up to temperature. You're going to bring it up, up to temperature because that can of beans was cold. And then them beans are ready for supper. Beans are done. 
They are plenty warm. So those will be coming off. And my pork over here, that is done as well. Now, I don't uh, barbecue sauce the bottom because you don't want to burn it. Barbecue sauce burns really easy, so the only thing I barbecue is around the sides and the top. And that way your pork stays just the way you put it in there. I don't flip it over because that'll burn as well. But I hope that you enjoyed this and now I am ready to eat supper. Here is my finished smoked uh, pork shoulders. You can see that they're still very juicy. This piece is getting in my way. Mm. I dropped it because a mosquito was eating at my eyebrow. Now I normally don't like to eat in front of people, but I've been cooking these shoulders since 11 o'clock this morning and I built the fire in the smoker at, at 9 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock now. I got 9 hours in this meal. But I'm telling you, it's worth every minute that I spent cooking this. That is so good. Beans are a little bit hot here, but those are done too. So, I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> you guys have a great day. It smells good. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you on the next one. Please subscribe to my channel. I have lots of cooking like this that I've done for years and years and years, and I just would like to share it with as many people as I can. Good night.